Good Thursday morning. I hope you've been encouraged. I know I have. And I appreciate the way you reach out to me uh, with your encouraging words. And uh, please don't stop. We love it. We read all your messages and how much it means to you to get these little snippets every morning. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, waiting. You know, one of my, my greatest mentors was a guy by the name of Dr. Jerry Branch. And Jerry's retired now, and actually he's, a, he's, doing, he's on the mission field. He retired to become a missionary at 75. A remarkable guy. But Jerry used to always say, we don't do wait well. We don't do wait well. So often we pray to the Lord for things. And right now we're in a time where we want everything to get back to normal. But we have to wait. We have to wait. And we don't do wait well. And what happens a lot of times is we lift up our prayers to the Lord, and when He does not answer us right away, we assume, well, He's not listening, so we're going to take that responsibility back onto our shoulders instead of letting God work. Psalms 40, uh, 46, which is right in the middle of your Bible, if you want to find it, it's in Psalms 46. We're going to look at verses 10 and 11. And it says this Be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob, Jacob is our fortress. So sometimes we just need to be still. Have you ever had a conversation on a phone that uh, uh, you're, you're talking to somebody or they might be talking to you and you get disconnected? Or you're talking and you get disconnected from them and you don't even know because you're talking so much. And all of a sudden you go, are you still there? Are you still there? And it's dead. All right? Well, when we come to the Lord, there's times we just need to be still. We need to listen for His voice. We need to wait for Him to work. I know we don't do wait well. I talked to a, a, a gentleman, I won't say their names, I would never want to embarrass him. He's very kind of uh, shy, quiet demeanor. She's a talker. And uh, the one day I was talking to him and I, I looked at him, I said, I didn't realize what a conversationalist you are. I said, you're usually so quiet. And he smiled and pointed to his wife. He says, well, that's because she won't let me get a word in edgewise. And uh, it made me laugh. And of course, she laughed because she knows she's a talker, all right, and they have a wonderful marriage. But what happens is sometimes we don't take the time to listen. So my challenge for you today and for all of us, all right, is when you lift up the Lord in prayer and you ask for things or you look for His guidance, be still. Listen. Wait upon the Lord. He's God Almighty. He has the answers if we just give him the time to answer them. Amen. Father God, again, we thank you so much for these little snippets. We thank you so much for these times of encouragement. I know, Lord God, it encourages me. It encourages me to have all the, the Christian brothers and sisters that reach out and say, thank you so much. It meant so much to me. It really hit home for me today, whatever the case is. I would ask that each and every one of them would continue to be in your word. And grow in your word. And grow in you, Lord God. And I pray that they would be still. And just hear your voice. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll see you Friday. And don't forget, wait. Be still.